Hello, what is up guys today? Um, I just had camera failure. Um, here's the old P-150, here, well, here's the original P-115 that was the first we've ever built. Here, here's the little wire conduit on the bottom. And here's the inside. See, I took out the rotor and the room. And they're sitting in the Coca-Cola over there, hoping, um, hoping it works as a rust remover, I've heard. But, um, back to the main part of the video. Coca-Cola is actually pretty good, but it's not sponsored. This is just to guide the wire where I'm going to put it in connecting to the new P-115. Which is actually just the second model. Which is just, um, second one I felt. You can see I built a little, I made a little bell system plaque saying bell system, tornado siren, do not tamper. Comes to this resistor. That I also, that I also built. Comes down to this tree. It's tied. I'm not in this, like, um, Circuit City kind of wire that you get from, like, little circuit packs you can get for kids at Walmart. This just has a guide just to see where the wire would be. It's actually got a bit of slack. I cannot figure this out. I'm like, you're not able to find a good camera angle. So you see, here's the P114. No, it's the P116, sorry. Um, don't take me, my word for it. Don't take my word for it. Um, here's the P116. Uh, it's fine. It works. I'm not going to test it because you don't test it. Here's another resistor. Um, here's that. Control. But... Alrighty, in one minute and thirty seconds in. Here's the P one fifteen. Other than the other one is on the ground. Right there, because well that one. The first person who buys my merch, which it will I'll start selling at a thousand subscribers. Um the my my limited edition GTH hoodie. Whoever the first person who buy one who buys one will get a mini three D printed P one fifteen. As a, just a reward with it. Well actually no, the first ten people who buy them. And then there will be a yearly sale of the 3D printed ones, too. So here's the P115. I haven't actually put the center air t intake tube in there yet. Came with it. As I said, I do, I'm do. i the founder of GTH, which is basically a siren company. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, I can actually take it down. I will be, be a couple seconds because I actually haven't actually bolted it in, in yet with those bolts down there yet. I haven't done it yet, so yeah, I'll take it down so I can show you. Okay, I'm back. So, there's paper towels back here that I used to scrape off some rust off of that grate. It's supposed to be up there holding up the siren. Um, here's the mounting bracket. Um, I guess. And then here's the rotator. Rotator, which actually you can see there's nothing in there. Because the rotator is supposed to just be sound propelled, so the faster the Oh, hi, mascot. Um, he's just the mascot. So, the sound and the vibration of the siren does move it. I have tested that. Not reliable, but this is just the temporary base I made here. Yeah. This is just supposed to screw onto a little bottle right here. Slide inside the pole until we get that. You can actually screw it into that. Um... Compared to, compared to the P115 um, dash one, fif, just check this out. <clears throat> compared to the 15 P115 slash, I believe, I think this one's 20 horsepower? The P115 slash 20 compared to the P115 130. You can really see the size difference. I'll lay them side by side here. See what I mean? Pretty close to size, but... That my hand here, almost. This thing's about like a foot. Ro this is like a a foot rotor. One well, of the rotors on a foot, but the the horn is a foot. Compared to this one, it's actually only six inches. And it's also really bendy. Um, for some reason, it's kind of bendy. Um, here's the intake tube, which for this one I don't have it in there yet. Where that little circle is is where it's gonna be glued in. Um, this one would be about a two inch. Compared to this one being half inch. Here's this little conduit, which is universal for both. Yeah, it's universal to both. Um, just I haven't plugged it in yet because well, the mounting bracket's in the way. Um, but I have to move that. But um, you can see this is actually I had to tape it together because this one actually started going crazy. Um, and. Had to tape it together because it's already going crazy, yeah. And yeah, 
See, there is a little bit of glue from the original. The original, but you can see that's some yellow glue. Did I not zoom out? Oh, no, it's still. It's fine. See, so I haven't put a cap on this end either. This is, four, this is the back part right here is four inch compared to the one foot. You can see what I mean. It's a big difference. About the size of one of these horns. Could fit right here. And just to prove that this one right here is smaller than this one, I will put it up like this. Which it's actually kind of cool. It looks like a little toilet. The whole P115. Well, 15-20 can fit inside of it. Well, not height-wise, because they're really long, but the 20s are really long. Like, really? Well, without the air intake tube, because, well, I don't know. <laughs> just, it was just like, not my job! Um, and it does rotate, as you can see. If I, if I pick it up, I can swing it side to side. Um, I'll take off the mounting bracket, and then I'll show you that it rotates. Here, I'm back. Here we are, I'm back. Here's the P114. I took off the mounting bracket, which is right here, as you can see. Where's the screw? I'll find the screw later. Um, you can see here, it's really wobbly right now. So let me go fix this real quick. Okay, we're back, and for this is for later in the video. Um, I know it's like already like 10 minutes long. Here it is, I still, I still need to tighten the screw, because you can see, well. I couldn't find my screwdriver. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna need to find it. Sorry. Bye. Definitely didn't go to Home Depot and buy a screwdriver. Um, so here it is. I'll turn it by hand because, well, I, as I said, the I haven't put the motor in. You can see here. You see what I mean? Do you, you see what I mean here? I can just turn it. Car. Um, Prius. Oh. Is this the rotator lock up again? So yeah, some, something wrong with the rotators I use. It's just does that. But it's normal. All rotators lock up. And it's actually fine. Because in a tornado, you can actually um, set the lock up position. So if it locks up, it'll force itself and then jam itself in that one spot. I'm just moving it with my hand, as you can see. Um, uh, hey. Piece of wood. It would like let's say lock up it towards the main towards the more populated area so that it wouldn't lock up and face away like the a lot of sirens. But you can see here's a little um, basket I found which kinda acts as a tower. It looks kinda cool. Here's the air intake pipe that I was talking about. That would just go in the center, so just imagine that. It looks kinda good. It would be actually center, but and for all you guys needing to know, you need to know. This siren has a blower, which I haven't put I haven't put together yet since well, I own GTH. And really, since I own GTH and well, well GTH incorporated sirens in tech. Um, that pole looks so weird without the siren on it. Does it just look like that to me or to all you guys? Um, so yeah, I haven't designed it yet, but I will put a post out when like a picture of it and a picture of the diagram of it and how it works so yeah please like and subscribe goodbye